Good morning, it's 855. Thanks for watching. I'm Brittany Dobbins. Rock Island County Health Department confirms cases of COVID-19 and RSV are increasing. Cases of the flu haven't increased dramatically. And Janet Hill with the health department doesn't want that to discourage you from getting the flu shot. Now we're not seeing any great um, spike in, in flu, but there is still time to get protection against the, the flu virus. She also recommends getting the vaccine a few weeks before Christmas and New Year's for it to take full effect. The Rock Island County Health Department still has vaccines and you can just call to make an appointment. A new program in Illinois aims to help businesses that launched during the pandemic recover some of their losses. Governor Davey Pritzker and the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity announced $25 million in grants through the Back to Business New Biz program. The state created a network of community navigators to help businesses apply for these grants. Mercado on 5th is a community navigator in, here, in the Quad Cities. When you apply, if you're eligible, and they'll award you, you know, a certain amount of money that will help with the losses um, that, that you had during during that time. So it's uh, it can be up to thirty thousand dollars, depending on the situation. Local businesses are encouraged to apply for the grant. Fairy tales depicted through artwork are now on display at the German American Heritage Center in Davenport. The exhibit that features the work of students opened yesterday. Students from the arts program at Sudlow Intermediate School highlight various stories from the Brothers Grimm fairy tales through traditional art, dance, and even music. Advent calendar window designs and paintings of various stories will be on display through January. And Christmas in Leclerc begins today and runs all weekend long. Events begin at 10 o'clock this morning, and the town's second annual tree lighting follows at 6 o'clock tonight. Tomorrow, events include the Ugly Sweater 5K run. This is video from that event just a couple of years ago. Ugly Christmas sweaters date back to the 1950s when there were jingle bell sweaters, and the tradition grew in the 1980s when some of the sweaters really got outlandish. That's a fun fact for you this morning, and of course, you'll see all of that in Leclerc tomorrow morning. And that's a look at your local news. Now here's Deanna with your local Pinpoint forecast. The rain will continue here throughout our morning and well even in the afternoon hours as we are holding on to another chance for a wintry mix. So again, for now, some rain, but later on this afternoon, the rain will be transitioning into well, a few flurries as well. Not much accumulation is expected with these temperatures that are well near to above normal. And that's how we're going to continue here through the weekend and even into next week. Not much sunshine here in the forecast, expect to be mostly cloudy here for most of the weekend. So again, if we take a look at the Futurecast computer model again, we are going to hold on to that widespread rain here and as we get into the late afternoon and evening hours that's when we're going to start to see some more of this wintry mix here across the area and expect some clearing as we get into the late overnight hours from the system leaving us behind a lot of cloud cover for our Saturday and as we get into the late hours of Saturday into our Sunday that's when we do get another chance to see some more of a wintry mix as well. Here's a look at your 10 day local pinpoint forecast again expect to be a mostly gloomy weekend not much sunshine as we get into a new work week that sunshine will be returning and affect mostly dry conditions for next week with temperatures that are going to be above normal. All right, thanks, Deanna, and thanks for watching. For news anytime, anywhere, just go to ourquadcities.com. Have a great weekend.